time to meet tonight's ten brand new contestants. They are <laughs> Carol Feltman Rickard from Buckinghamshire, Paul Wenlis from County Durham, Sue Smith from Staffordshire, Andy Connor from West Midlands, Nicholas Sutcliffe from Lancashire, Dave Hunter from Kent. Paul Higson from Lancashire. David Hutchinson from North Yorkshire. Carol Lieber from Leicestershire. And Jane Ryder from Oxfordshire. <laughs> right, that's your turn for tonight. Fastest finger first, then. Whoever puts the four answers in the correct order in the fastest time is the first to play for a possible £1 million. Audience, no calling out, please. They need to concentrate right. Here comes the first question. Starting with the earliest, put these winners of the Olympic 100 metres in order. Harold Abrahams, Alan Wells, Linford Christie, Jesse Owens. Several of them there finished very quickly. Let's see if they're right, though. Um, the right order, then, the correct order, starting with the earliest. Harold Abrahams first back in uh, 1924, Jesse Owens in 1936, Alan Wells then more recently in 1980, and Linford Christie in 1992. That's the right order. Now, all these got it right. Uh, who was fastest? Lots of them got it right. Fastest, Andy Connor in 4.54 seconds. That's very good. That's very good. You ready, Chris? I'm dead out. I'm dead out. Let's do it. This is Andy Connor, private tutor from Birmingham, up there in the audience, looking very proud. This is his dad, Bob, who retires next April and wouldn't mind a nice retirement prezi. Um, if Andy won a lot of money tonight, he says he'd like to buy a Basset Hound and call it Turbo. Uh, I've no idea. The only thing uh, is he says he'd have to move into a bigger house to keep Turbo in. And Andy lives almost entirely on pizzas. And if he was Prime Minister for the day, the first thing he'd do is give everyone a free margarita pizza. Well, that's a big vote catcher, isn't it? Not everybody likes pizzas, Andy. I didn't join mine. Eh? I didn't join mine. You didn't show it? Enjoy it. Oh, enjoy it. I thought you said you didn't show it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And you're also... No, I, I couldn't help. As, as we went to get you on, you, you were doing things with your laces. Yeah, that's a superstition. I tie my laces incessantly when I'm nervous. Are you nervous now? Slightly, yes. But, but you've got your laces... Now, what have you done? You've got your laces done up? Undone? What's... Done up. You, they're done up? Yeah. And if you get a question right, you undo them? Uh, <laughs> how, does it, how does it work, Andy? It's untie them and tie them up again, even if they don't need it. Right, OK. <laughs> it's, it's a new system. Nobody's tried this before. And you've also said, whatever happens, you won't gamble. Yeah, but I've said that before. <laughs> OK, well, simple enough. It sounds simple enough when you say it. 15 questions, £1 million. We seem to be getting closer, but nobody's quite got there yet. And he's got three brand new lifelines. He's got 50-50, he's got phone a friend, and he can ask this audience. Right, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? OK, Andy, you've got your uh, shoelaces nice and tight. Have a look at question number one for £100. Here it is. Which of these is the title of a top ten hit for Simply Red? Holding Back the Years, Hiding in the Yards, Hunting Down the Yetis, Hanging Out the Wife <laughs> Holding back the years. Is the right answer. Undo one lace. Well done, you've got 100 quid. <laughs> OK, have a look at question number two for £200. Here it comes. You've got all three lifelines. Take your time, use a lifeline if you need to. This is worth £200. What title is given to the person in charge of a prison? Matron? Vice Chancellor? Governor? Or headmistress? Governor. Not matron. Positive? Yes. You're very definite on your answers, aren't you? So far. So far. OK, it's right, you've got 200 pounds. <laughs> Have a look at question number three for 300 quid. Here it comes. You've got three lifelines. Take your time. Have a look. Which device removes the pilot from an aircraft cockpit in an emergency? Expulsion chair. Thruster stall. Propulsion bench, ejector seat. Ejector seat. No problem. This is done up. <laughs> it's good, you've got 300 pounds. <laughs> Have a look 
Question number four is worth £500. Just be aware you've got those lifelines, you haven't needed them yet at all. Question number four, you're 12 away from a million, this is worth £500. Here it is. In which cartoon series was the cry, Yabba Dabba Doo! Often heard. <laughs> Wacky Races, The Flintstones, Scooby Doo, Top Cat. The Flintstones. It's the right answer. You got five hundred pounds. <laughs> Take your time. Have a look at question number five. The Scottish Premier League football clubs, known as Rangers and Celtic, are based in which city? Edinburgh, Aberdeen, Dundee, Glasgow. Glasgow. Sure. This is done up. Do you want to do them if you get a thousand pounds? No. Okay. It's good you have just got one thousand pounds. Well done, Andy. You feel a lot better. Okay, have a gargle. You got a thousand pounds. You got uh, five out of five so far. No problem. You're ten away from one million. You're right. How are you feeling? Better, slightly better. A lot better. You've got a thousand pounds guarantee. You've got all three lifelines. Have a look at number six. You won't gamble, but we'll see. Which legendary couple are said to be buried at Glastonbury in Somerset? Darby and Joan, Robin and Marion, Arthur and Guinevere, Anthony and Cleopatra. Legendary couple said to be buried at Glastonbury down in Somerset. Darby and Joan, Robin and Marion, Arthur and Guinevere. Anthony and Cleopatra, it's worth £2,000. Arthur and Guinevere. Are you sure? Yeah. Final answer? Yeah. You've just won £2,000. <laughs> OK, no problem so far, you've got £2,000. You've still got three lifelines, you haven't needed any yet. Question number seven is worth £4,000. Take your time, Andy, have a look at it, here it is. John Boyd Dunlop is associated with the development of which of these? John Boyd Dunlop. Miner's safety lamp. Pneumatic tyre. Jet engine. Hovercraft. Pneumatic tyre. Not hovercraft. Sure? Not gambling, are you? Not yet. <laughs> £4,000, gonna play? Yes. It's good, you have got £4,000. <laughs> you know, Andy, I think I'll join you in a drink. You got £4,000, you have got 50 50, phone a friend, ask the audience. No problem so far, you are eight away from one million. Question number eight is worth £8,000. This is it. Which of these is a nickname for the flag of the United States of America? Old Pretender. Old Dutch. Old Harry. Old Glory. Old Glory. Sure? How'd you know? I just do. <laughs> Final answer. Yeah. You do. You just got £8,000. <laughs> you still haven't used the lifeline. How are you feeling now? Still a little nervous. You doing OK? You, um, you haven't really gambled yet, have you? Not yet. Won't gamble. I won't gamble. <laughs> See? Uh, you haven't really had to. You've known all the answers, no problem at all. You haven't used a lifeline either. Have a look at question number nine. And this is where the money starts going up steeply, but the drops get a bit steep. You would lose £7,000 here. Uh, you don't have to play it, obviously. You can use all three lifelines and still take the money and walk away. But you probably won't need to. Have a look at question number nine. It's worth £16,000. Here it is. In film musicals, Busby Berkeley was most famous as what? Costume designer, composer, choreographer, cinematographer. Busby Berkeley, most famous as what? Costume designer, composer, choreographer, or cinematographer? It's worth 16,000. I'm going to phone a friend. OK, who are you going to phone? Steve. Steve? OK, where's he? Uh, he's in Guernsey on holiday. Oh, lucky him, OK. Well, we phone him, we'll drag him off the beach. Um, <laughs> you've got £8,000, you don't obviously have to take his answer. You've got 
30 seconds telling the question, four possible answers. One of those is worth 16,000, so take your time. Hello? Steve? Yes? Chris Tarrant, good evening on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Oh, hello, Chris. Hello. I've got Andy here. Andy's on £8,000 at the moment. Great. Which is good, but with your help, Steve, we can get him up to £16,000. We'll do our best. OK, yeah, well, um, <laughs> fingers crossed. OK, next voice here will be Andy's. He'll tell you the question. There are four possible answers. One of them's worth 16000 OK. OK, Steve, good luck. Andy, your time starts now. Hi, Steve. Hi, Andy. In film musicals, Busby Berkeley was most famous as what? Costume designer, composer, choreographer or cinematographer? I think it's choreographer, Andy, but I'm not sure. OK, thanks, Steve. OK, good luck. Thank you. Bye. Fifty-fifty, please, Chris. OK. Computer, take away two wrong answers. Leave Andy the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. <laughs> Costume designer or choreographer, it's worth £16,000. I'll have to ask the audience. They'll be pleased. OK. <laughs> Audience on your keypads, please. Uh, there are only two possibilities. This is the question. In film musicals, Busby Berkeley was most famous as what? A or C? All vote now. Uh, 86%. That's quite high. 86% are saying choreographer. 14% are saying costume designer. I'll trust them. It's a gamble. Final answer. Want to do something funny with your shoelaces? Yeah, but I'll wait. <laughs> OK. Final answer? Yeah. You just won £16,000. <laughs> I've never had to do that on the show before, shake hands with somebody who I suddenly decided to drink water. <laughs> it's very complicated. I'm sorry about that. Andy, you've got £16,000. Um, you gambled a bit there. You have to say you gambled a bit. But you've got all three lifelines gone. You've got 16000 You can obviously walk away. Have a look at the next question, though. If you can... You don't have to play this, but if you go for it and give me the right answer, it's worth £32,000. You would lose 15000 of the 16 you've got at this moment. Big <clears> drop. <throat> Andy, this is question number 10. Which island was awarded the George Cross in 1942? What do you think? You're nodding. I think it's Malta. You don't have to play this question, but have a look. Which island was awarded the George Cross in 1942? You think it's Malta? Newfoundland, Tasmania, Malta, Singapore. Malta. You're going to play? Yes. Final answer? Yes. What would you do if I said to you the answer Singapore? Cry. <laughs> There's no need to cry. It's the right answer. You got thirty-two thousand pounds. <laughs>